Ladies and gentlemen, now marching into the pavilion, led by their drill sergeants, are the soldiers of Bravo Company, 2nd Battalion, 58th Infantry Regiment. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, welcome to the Turning Blue Ceremony of Bravo Company, 2nd Battalion, 58th Infantry. Today we are awarding the Infantry Blue Cords to the soldiers standing here before you. The Blue Cord signifies that each soldier has attained the rite of passage into the Army's infantry. In order to understand the importance of this ceremony, you must first understand the task of the infantryman. The infantry is the basic ground fighting force in the United States Army. Its mission is to close with, destroy, or capture the enemy by use of fire and maneuver. An infantryman arrives at the battlefield by land, sea, or air. He is capable of operating in the darkness of night and under the most extreme climatic conditions. In meeting with the various challenges of combat, today's infantryman must possess all almost superhuman combination of skill, endurance, and personal sacrifice. The infantry has the most demanding job in the Army. With the increased firepower and sophistication of today's weapons and tactics, every infantryman must be proficient in over 200 tasks in order to fight, win, and survive on the modern day battlefield. With the help of the drill sergeants, these soldiers standing before you have mastered the basic skills necessary to become infantrymen. The task of the drill sergeant is to mold ordinary individuals into highly trained, highly motivated, and well-disciplined soldiers. Once the Army's non-commissioned officers have accomplished this, these young men are no longer ordinary individuals. They are America's finest. They are the infantry. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to honor the nation with the playing of the national anthem and remain standing for the invocation.
Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion chaplain will now give the invocation. Please bow your heads. Lord God, we thank you for this joyous day because these trainees have completed their training and are now called infantrymen. Help these infantrymen to be successful in their future assignments. Do not let them waver in their duties. May their trustworthiness shine as they wear the blue infantry cord. Bring happiness into the homes of these men and those who have trained them. Bless their families who have sacrificed so much for them to be in this great army. We ask these things in our Lord's name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The following soldiers are receiving certificates of achievements for being recognized as their platoon honor graduates. The first platoon honor graduate is Private First Class Tony DeWitt. The second platoon honor graduate is Private First Class Zachary Main. Private First Class Main will also be receiving a certificate of achievement for scoring the highest score on the Army Physical Fitness Test. The Army Physical Fitness Test consists of two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups, and a two-mile run, with each event worth 100 points. Private First Class Maine attained a score of 300 and a score of 340 points on the extended scale. The third platoon honor graduate is Private First Class Jacob Selig. Private First Class Selig will also be receiving a certificate of achievement for scoring 36 out of a possible 40 with the M4 carbine during basic rifle marksmanship training, earning the expert qualification badge. The fourth platoon honor graduate is Specialist Joseph Wilmers. Ladies and gentlemen, please give the awardees a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, right. the commander... Right. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of Bravo Company, 2nd Battalion, 58th Infantry, Capul Captain Daniel Bisping. Lieutenant Colonel Crapo, Command Sergeant Major Johnston, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the families of the soldiers of Bravo Company 258 Infantry. I know that some of you, it was no small task to get here, and I want to thank you for your attendance. As you look over these men before you, you may have noticed a change in them. Some were heavier, some were thinner, but now they are army strong. Most importantly, they are walking a little taller, a little prouder, and they have learned what it means to be a member of a team. Today is, no great, today is a great day in the lives of the soldiers before you. Today they become the, join the uh, most powerful force the world has ever known, the United States infantryman. The infantryman is not a job, the infantry is a way of life, a life devoted to one's country and comrade, steeps in uh, hardships of sacrifice and service to a higher purpose than oneself. The infantry blue cord is a distinct symbol announcing to the world that he who bears it is a member of an elite organization of his country's strength in war, her deterrent in peace, and the best trained soldiers in the world, constantly vigilant, always prepared to close with and destroy the enemies of his nation. It represents the finest 
traditions of excellence spanning back as far as General Washington and the infantry of the, colonial, the Continental Army. It serves as a link between our forefathers who shed their blood to provide us with the liberties and freedoms we enjoy. The infantrymen before you today are prepared to do the same in preserving the freedoms of our future. That is a burden that we willingly accept as infantrymen, that every day we bear this cord, we commit ourselves to extend that great legacy of our brotherhood. I'd like to take a moment to recognize the drill sergeants. The primary role of the drill sergeant is to train, teach, coach, and mentor each soldier through 14 weeks of training. The drill sergeants before you are some of the finest non-commissioned officers in the Army today. They have spent countless hours to ensure these men are proficient in our profession. The success of our organization is due to their hard work of the drill, as the drill sergeant and their firm commitment in training these soldiers. I am honored to serve with them. Men of Bravo Company, you have endured much over the past 14 weeks. 106 civilians have come into this company and 187 infantrymen are walking out. Your journey is just beginning. Soon you'll be taking up arms with your infantry brothers in support of operations around the world. And I promise you that those experiences will lead, live, last a lifetime. Be confident in yourself, your training, and your equipment. You have earned that right. You are ready. No matter what, you have proven to yourself that you can overcome any obstacle and to complete the mission. In parting, I challenge you to not simply wear the blue cord, but to continue to earn it every day. Let your actions show you, let your actions show that you are a professional soldier, you are a United States infantryman. Love of country, patriots, Bushmaster, follow me. Father, raise a daughter and a son, be a lover to their...